What's up? It's Keck Goose Keck. We're back in for another video. And today, uh, if you guys have noticed, I sound a bit different. It's because I have a new mic. I just got a new mic. Uh, I just got it at Walmart. It's a Blue Snowball Ice. I, I had a Blue Snowball Ice before, but it kind of sounded wacky, so I had to get a new one. But that's besides the point. Today, we're going to be talking about Light Novel Progress 6, I think. Yeah, Progress 6. Hell yeah, brothers. And today, we, be, you know, we're just going to be talking about the Light Novel overall. And how much I progress with it. If you're new to the Lightning Progress update, update videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. I upload this every other month. I mean, every month. And also, I now have a Patreon for the Lightning. So if you want to go su subscribe or to the Patreon or be a patron, I give there's like three tiers. The first tier is I'll say your name at the end of every Lightning Progress update video and put it in and put it like in a card or or text up at the end of the video below. I will also give you a thank you every month and I'll talk to you through Discord. The second tier is the most important tier to you. If you want to see early access to videos, if you want to see early access to um to light novel progress, if you want to see light novel, light novel art, light novel book art, light novel characters that you want to see, I'll, I'll be uploading that to the Patreon as well early before it hits YouTube. It will take like two weeks or a week before it hits YouTube before I make a video about it because I do other stuff except YouTube. I do, I rap, I make music, I go to school, I do a bunch of other shit than just make YouTube videos. That's why I don't upload it very often because my schedule is pretty busy. But yeah, uh, if you, if you want that, if you want to get early stuff, I'm going to be showing you guys that. I'm going to... I'm not uploading anything in there right now because no one's in the Patreon. But if someone joins the Patreon, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be showing them a bunch of stuff from the light novel, and I'm gonna be getting them hyped for it. I might also be showing them visual content. If I get enough money from this Patreon, I could legit just make like a a fundraiser where I could just make an anime opening for the light novel for a promotion, and then I'll probably get a bunch of uh people on board with it. So that's besides the point. If you want to go subscribe to the Patreon, it's the, you don't have to, but if you want to. I would I would highly recommend it because you'd get a bunch of early shit. I mean, if that's what you're into, then go ahead. But if you just, if you don't care and you like to wait, then do whatever. But yeah, it's it's in the description. Anyways, we're talking about letting pro, uh, my progress in line. Oh. So I'm um I'm going I'm gonna be in a, a a courage here, a bit of a a bit of stop here. I've been I'm on chapter four right now. I'm basically doing chapter four. And chapter four is basically not gonna spoil, but I was planning on doing something different for chapter four, but it kind of changed up. So now what I'm probably gonna do, I'm probably gonna put chapter five into two parts. Chapter five, five, like five regular five, then five point five point five or some shit like that. Or I might just include it all into one chapter. But chapter five is the most hectic chapter in the whole Light Novel Volume One. It's gonna, it's gonna kind of start the plot off, I guess, if you, if you can say it like that. Even though it's kind of already started the plot in chapter one, it's still just gonna put the world building aspect into it. The story isn't slow at all. It's pretty, I wouldn't say it's fast, but it's, it's kind of medium paced over the point where the fight scenes make sense. And I try to I try to flesh out characters even in the first volume. I also try to differentiate certain shit too as well. I also like to draw conclusions. Whenever I introduce a character, it's for a reason. So just watch out for that and make sure to make even if I even if I make like a subtle thing, make sure to look at that too, because that could be a, an, a future plot point. I don't make plot points for no reason. But I also I that also could be nothing for no reason. You never know. I could put a plot point to the book. I could put something like he looked that way and he saw a shadowy figure. That could be nothing or that could be something. Who knows? You never know. I could basically I could put anything in the story. It could either not be a, a, a plot point in the future or it can't be. So, so just make sure to watch it. Watch out for that stuff. It know how we understand the story better. Never look at stuff from face value. Never look at light novel from face value. Don't look at any source material from face value. Make sure to read in depth to any story you read. If you see certain something that's kind of suspicious, then call it out. Think about it. Sorry, make theories. That's what theorizing is. That's what analyzing is. It's not looking from face value. It's going into a deeper, more a deeper thought of how do you look in this and how do you how do you find out this and what is your own representation your own representation of the story. What do you think about it? What, what do you think is going to happen next? You predicting the story. A good story is one. A good story is not one that can be predicted. A, a good story is one that has good characters, good plot, and a story that can't be predicted. 
and a story can tell. Anyone can write a book. Anyone can. I've seen this in a comic before. Anyone can write a book, which is fucking true. Anyone can write words on a paper, but not everyone can tell a story that's interesting and that's good to tell. When you think about it, Naruto, Bleach, and Dragon Ball, they're all special cases. Those are not the only manga and light novel in the world. There's a bunch of light novels. The light novel industry in Japan is fucking big. But only some some anime and light novel have made it up there, like ReZero and Konosuba and Shield Hero. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of light novels, but those only three have gotten popular? Exactly. But not everyone can write a book, and not everyone can write a light novel. But if you have experience and you believe that you can do it, go ahead. Okay, maybe your first book will suck, that's gonna be fine, but just make sure to improve your craft. If one of your books sucks, then improve on it later. Don't don't stress. If it's your first time writing something like me, then it's expected to be ass. It's not it's not something good to put all your put all your energy into it. But I've been working on this thing for almost a year now. I've been working since April. I I've, I've been taking breaks here and there, so that's why it's not really finished. It's at 43k words right now. The light novel is supposed to be ending around 50k words, so when we have like uh, seven, seven k words to write, which is really small in the grand scheme of things. I've been writing for like eight, nine, I don't know. It's in March now. I started writing in April, end of April, so it's gonna be coming up on a one year basis. I've been putting all my sweat and tears into the light novel to make, to make sure it's not rushed. I've done so many redrafts and drafts of the story. I did so many real stuff of the story I put in little plot points that I'm going to use for the future of the story. But always don't look for stuff from face value. If you're going to write a book or write a novel or whatever you're going to write, make sure you put some meaning to it. Don't just write something to write. Write it for a reason. The reason I'm writing for my light novel is because I want to express how I feel and how how I put myself into the main character's position. I want to express that maybe I might be the annoying kid in class and no one likes me. But I, but we have friends that can lift us back up again, which is really a good, a really stereotypical kind of fashion. But that's okay. Because it's stereotypical doesn't mean it's bad. You can do a stereotype good, but but not everyone can write a book, man. And it's just how it is. You always think you can't just come at stuff from face value. You can't. I write the story because I want to express how what what annoying kid goes through and bullying and. Superpowers and just fighting scene that make people fun and betrayals and shit like that. So you just just don't look at shit from face value. Always go into the deeper meaning of the story and always analyze. I try to upload it almost every week, but that kind of comes a hassle. But I'm gonna be trying to actually do it now because I, I want my shit to be successful. Once my volume one ends, I'm probably gonna take a break for like maybe two weeks after it, after I get everything solved through. After I publish it, I try my try to publish it. I'm probably going to put it on web novel like the first day it comes out on Wattpad or something like that. The word the thing is 50k words and web novels are usually like a short, short chapters. So I might just split it up into chapters, but who knows? If you guys want two versions of a light novel, if you want a light novel and then a web novel, it's basically my plan was to make two versions of it. A web novel was to split it up and making a smaller piece of paper to digest because not everyone wants to read a 10k chapter and then come back to it later. I understand that. But if you're into that kind of thing, then go ahead, go back and forth, go and read it. If you ever want, if you if you don't if you don't like if you don't like long shit, I understand. I don't like to read long shit either. But that's how my story's written. But I can always split up in it into certain important parts that can be smaller chapters. But yeah, I'm basically almost done with the light now. 43k words, guys. We're almost done. The next five, the next final chapter is gonna be the most hectic chapter. So don't just skip. Just read the story. It's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I'm putting all my hard time into this, just because. Just don't think just because I'm not taking, a, I'm taking a, a don't upload doesn't mean I'm not writing. I'm always writing books. I'm always writing something. I'm always making to be. I'm, always, I'm always making music or something. I'm always doing something in the background. So just because I don't upload doesn't mean I'm not working hard. Well, it's been your boy Keck. It was Keck. Make sure to subscribe to the Patreon down below. I hope you guys have a good day and peace.